um, didn't uh, give West Ham United anything. And we created three good uh, chances and we didn't take them. And then one moment of switching off uh, and, and we are down, we are losing the game. And I think that is our, how I see the performance. Do you think these kind of performances, small games about the goal now, do you think these kind of performances you can have a successful season or there has to be reinforcements now that you can come with that best group? Uh, as I said before, we have players who can do it. They, they proved it in the past. They can do it, but in, we also uh, uh, we have to acknowledge the facts that we didn't do um, as a team. And so, yeah, we have to take responsibility. And yeah, of course, football is about winning games and it's about scoring goals. Uh, once again, it feels like one step forward, one step backwards. What gives you the confidence in saying this round? That uh, first of all we have issues. We have we have we had, have many setbacks, injuries, etc. But uh, the players who are on the pitch are good enough to win the game. And so then it's also about uh, uh, get into the box, uh, make sure you are there, make sure uh, you have the willingness to arrive there, and you have the willingness and the clinical to score goal. But do you feel that you and these players can say the trail? They are capable of, and I know Westford can score a goal, Hoyland can score a goal, Anthony can score a goal, Garnaccio can score a goal, Bruno can score a goal, Scott McTominay can score a goal. So yeah, we have the scoring abilities in our squad and also from, from set plays. Um, so in this moment, we are not doing and uh, they have to, to stick together, but also they have to believe in themselves uh, that they can do it and that they get there where you have to be uh, and where you have to score, and that is in the box, and especially in the double uh, six yard box. And there you have to arrive uh, as a striker, or uh, when you, uh, we attack with 11, with one of them, or best with more than them. Eric, specifically on, on Rasmus Hoyland, who came off before the hour today, do you get to a point where you feel like you need to protect him a bit? Because he looked like a player you know, lacking confidence, even when he got the ball in a good position. Fernandez, you couldn't do anything with it. Are you, are you worried about him psychologically as much as? No, I think he's a very strong character, and he can deal with those stress. Uh, I took him off; he was ill during the week, and so a little bit lack of uh, of power. Uh, so yeah, in that sense, I protected him. Uh, we have to play two more games this week, uh, but yeah, we we can't have sorry for ourselves, no one. Huh? And we have to take the responsibility. If you are a player for Manchester United, uh, you have to do it together, but everyone has to be accountable and take responsibility. Okay. Eric, the, the final whistle, all the players, including those on the bench, went over to applaud the traffic fans that were still there, except for Marcus Rashford, who went straight down the tunnel. Does that disappoint you? Oh, I haven't seen it. Does it disappoint you? It's one way to come, but two days I, so I, I'm not sure if that's uh, if if that if that happened. Okay. Uh, last question in this section, Jim. Uh, Eric, Manchester United used to be the byword for fight backs uh, in early times and so forth. Uh, when this team go behind, they seem to give up. Um, how do you turn that around? First of all, uh, it's the meaning of the first goal. Huh? And when you're controlling the game, and you have to take the goal. And, but of course, when you are not scoring the first goal, and you have to 